The Sado is one of the strongest weapons in Warframe, and here's why. To understand the Sado's power, first, you must understand Condition Overload. Condition Overload is a melee mod that gives you 80% more base damage per individual status effect on a target. The Sado has this mod built into the weapon as a passive, which means that you have a permanent Gundition Overload effect present on the weapon. To make use of this passive, the Sado has a special alt fire that launches a glaive with very high status chance. This glaive will auto lock on to up to 11 enemies and explode with a 6 meter radius. The explosion always applies two separate status procs, the first being based off of modded damage types and the second being randomized between the four base elements. It also has innate blast and slash which means that with just one element modded onto your Sado, you can proc up to 7 status types with a single shot, giving you a bonus 420% damage. This will further stack with the shotgun mod Galvanize Savvy, which is essentially condition overload but for all weapons. These bonuses are additive to each other though, so you get less of a benefit but still a large one which does make it worth using only to be usurped by a main mod. This first build is for more veteran Tenno and works incredibly well for all pieces of content in the game. Multi-shot will scale the number of glaives fired, so galvanized hell fits in nicely and it of course boosts the primary fire's pellet count too. The Sado has good base critical chance, so critical deceleration and primed ravage will give us more consistent and stronger crit hits. Hunter munitions will give us a 30% chance to proc slash on crits, which will happen very often and is a lot better than the pure puncture damage that the primary fire already does. As mentioned before, the Glaive will proc one of the four H set statuses per explosion and also your modded elements. In this case, it is going to be viral as a single alt shot will give almost all affected targets a lot of viral procs, significantly boosting the damage of the slash procs given to us by Hunter Munitions. I also like to use Shotgun Barrage as the base fire rate is a little slow and this allows you to output those shots much quicker. Instead of Galvanize Savvy, you can slot in a Bane mod for even more damage as they are multiplicative to all damage and double dip on dots like Slash. If you really want to win max, I would suggest you do that since Galvanize Savvy does provide less damage than normal since it is additive with the Sado's passive, but if you do not want to swap them out, Savvy will do just fine. Arcane wise, it is up to you whether or not you want to use Deadhead or Merciless. Deadhead provides extra damage when headshotting, which is easy with the Sado as it is a pellet weapon, but Merciless does provide that extra reload speed. For a much more accessible build, this is what you should be using if you are newer. Swap out Galvanized Chamber for just normal chamber, which will do you perfectly fine. Primed Ravage can of course just be normal Ravage, and then instead of Savvy or a Bane, use Point Blank as I'm assuming you do not have the Arcanes here to substitute. This weapon is just so strong that even with the aforementioned mod setup for quote unquote newer players, you decimate these level 135 heavy gunners, which will be much more difficult than anything you'll face on the base star chart. But that is going to be it for the Sado today everyone. A huge thanks to all of my patrons over on Patreon. If you would like to join them, the link is in the description down below where you will also find my discord too. Thank you to Ward Platypus, The Mad Monk, Scotty Nose, Young Mung, Matt Goat, Erzos, Bad Robot, Jade Rabbit, Shrike, Raken, Mini, Sage, and Serene Crane. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all your help. But I hope this video was informative and helped you, and I will see all of you guys in the next one. Peace!